What's going on everybody? It's Fry. So today we are doing a very weird idea. It's a Gravestone ZMAC deck. I got this idea from one of the viewers, regular viewers, named Plant Plan. Uh, so what's the point of doing, you know, Gravestones with ZMAC? Usually you're doing that with a sneaky hero because you can have Headstone Carver. ZMAC obviously doesn't have that. Okay, so there's a few things that running a lot of gravestones in a ZMAC deck could do. First of all, you do have Grave Robber, and this becomes a very strong card if you can keep this on the board from turn to turn. Every time a zombie pops, pops out of a grave, you know, does more and more bullseye damage. That's one reason. Um, there are some also some other uh, interesting synergies with ZMAC. One of the ideas is to be able to play binary stars with ZMAC. And really not, this not dying to grave removal. Typically when we're doing ZMAC with binary stars, this will be one of the only gravestones in the deck. But if you have a lot of early game gravestones, it's going to make your ones that come later. Uh, again, more likely that if they have a grave buster, they're not saving it like with a sneaky hero for the late game. Uh, they're going to be just using their, you know, their grave removal earlier. Uh, and you'll be able to debate it out and actually be able to have, you know, your binary stars not get like grave busted. Um, there's also some really interesting synergy with the gravestones that ZMAC runs. For example, if you can get Abracadaver, uh, hitting face, the sumo can reactivate it by moving something away. You can also just go, like, uh, Grave Robber on one, they put their black IP in front of the Grave Robber on two, the sumo saves it. Uh, there's also a good combo that we've always liked, which is con man on turn one they place a plant a typical one cost plant is a one cost two attack two health which means that after turn one it will have two attack and one health left and the conga then pings it and is able to correct that trade so a little synergy there um the idea is to be able to gain tempo surprise them hopefully with the ever cadaver uh, and be able to build up to either a wide board with a going viral or some combo with binary stars. If you can play binary stars, while your bungees are going to be doing double damage, everything on the board will be doing double damage. So you're hopefully going to be able to have a board already, uh, play your binary stars, and everything is going to either make really good trades or do a lot of damage to your opponent's face. Well, face. I'm running for the four cost. I wanted to run, a, again, an Uncurved Gravestone, which is Turquoise Skull Zombie. It's a card that grows and also denies them brains every turn, especially going in Turquoise into Binary Stars. means they're going to have one fewer sun to deal with the Binary Stars turn, making this more impactful. We'll see how that works. Hope you guys enjoy. Uh, it's really nice also to be running Healthy Tree in a deck like this because you're able to sort of play off-curve and then play healthy tree like running a lot of ones and twos turn three you can just go like sumo healthy tree and make a really good trade uh, for example let's see how this goes agent orange thank you for 17 months so we're gonna try to prioritize i think getting a getting a two here two ever cadavers is a lot yes Okay, so we'll go con man on one. Put this on the ground because it doesn't die to the rumble and the spike weight sectors as much. So I guess we'll go with like Grave Robber Rockwell. I think this still goes on heights because again of Rumble. Agent Orange, 17 months, thank you. So annoying. So unfortunately, that took out this play. Amber Cadaver. Oh, bets. We'll do the bets. Wow, is that all he does? Yes, Amber Cadaver popping off. Let's go! <laughs> Heck yeah! So that's awesome. Really, really good value. Uh, Alright, so if you think we're going to win, let's just do the 6 out of 8 today. If you think we're going to win 6 out of 8, vote yes. 5 out of 8 is going to be an over here at the live stream, twitch.tv forward slash forward slash prime up. So this looks like a good play. I like setting up the sumo here. It'll drag something over to the right. Look at this combo with sumo and abracadabra. This is a ZMEC exclusive combo, by the way. Nice try, click P. 
and black IP. So we'll grab this, bring it here. Um, I don't think we use the, the rock wall. It's not worth it. I'd love if this could kill the black IP here. Nope. But these at least trade. Still a huge value. Just another one. <laughs> Do another one, guys. The abracadabras are popping off. That's two shots already. That's a lot of value for a three drop, man. I sort of wish I kept that grave robber alive, but it just means that the abracadabra then hits the. Okay. I think we just bungee this and rockwall this one so it doesn't die to the rumble. But yeah, this should hit. And this just dies for free. <laughs> This one gets blocked, so we had to bungee that. I mean, this is wild right now. His rumble doesn't do a damn thing. Um, Alright, so I want to address something that a lot of people are, are uh, have been mentioning in YouTube comment section. Again, I don't know. I'm not technical support for this game. But it does seem that the recent you know, patches they've made which were making the game actually launch on a lot of devices. A lot of people are not able to launch PvZ Heroes, and now they are. Um, they fixed that, and it seems like in the meanwhile, it hurt it for other devices. So again, if you have anything, you can go to the EA forums uh, and find the thread that has to do with the device that's not working, and put your device, put your location, uh, your IP address, your home address, your social security number, and they'll be able to help you with whatever you want. So... Just whatever they ask for, just give them that. <laughs> no, just your device, your device name, your device model, you know, and and your version of Android, and hopefully they'll have that fixed. A lot of people have been working though, so I don't know anything. I'm not again. I'm not technical support. I offered to be, you know, I offered to gather data from the community and help out with that. Haven't really heard any meaningful response from PopCap. Surprise, surprise. Anyway. In other news, this deck completely popped off. The first game just dominated. Here's Unknown Outcast. Is this one of the snipers we don't play against? Because we know he's a sniper. I think I'm going to pass on this one because... Uh, this deck is going to be hard, easy to counter for snipers. So I'll be a little conservative today. There we go. Um, so which of these are better against Wall Knight? Do we keep the bungee? I don't I mean Okay. I don't know, it makes it scarier for him to play Twin Sunflower, I guess. And there it is, guys. I mean, this was the point of this deck. Right there. Is that he used the Grave Removal. He'll expect this to just be a sumo. He's not even going to know what this is. And now he doesn't have the Grave Removal. Can you play into this, please? But at least the Binary Stars will be off the hook now. Thank you, Game Shifter. Honestly, if he makes a trade, Game Shifter, welcome to the Frymally. I think this is okay. He's not going to make a great trade here. Uh huh. Well, it's taking three and then another three, and then we're going six to base. Pretty good. Yoink. But with this full board, it's really nice to spam. Do we spam binary stars here? Should I wait a turn on the binary just to be able to play a little reactively? All right, let's do it. The, the going viral is really, really good here, too. Um, so gut is just a fruitcake, but it could be there's a better play. What if we were to going viral... 
and strength and healthy tree. So this will have four, five, six, seven, and then it'll have five health. Yeah, I guess that's the play. And then we can fruit cake later. This is such an insane play, actually. Die. Insect. It's just doing so. Even if it just procs the blog, it's still doing three things. Wow! It hit! I mean, he needs, like, super, I guess, heal, walnut. He just needs to not get bubble. <laughs> he can survive. But if he uses his soup, see, that's so good. That's so good for us, man. I don't even think we need the binary stars anymore. I think we just... Whoa, binary bungee just became really good. Never mind. I was going to go 4 and 2, but now 5 and 1 is... Most definitely the play. So this does four damage either to his face or to probably better yet to clear a lane. Look how good this is. And that'll make a guarantee. We can take a nap. It'll be guaranteed lethal. We could bungee him in the face. It would be guaranteed lethal. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stinky Bean Man, thanks for. You just subscribed for six months in advance. Thank you so much. You guys coming in with the Generous City. Helping me pay this super expensive Toronto rent. You'll hear me complaining about this for the rest of the year. I just moved to a new apartment in Toronto. I got the, the most basic one bedroom, just the most basic, basic thing. It, it costs $2,400 a month. Two fat Canadian, so it's about two thousand American, which is it's the a one tiny one bedroom, nothing fancy, one bedroom apartment. That's what it goes for. That was like I that was actually a good deal considering the other things at that price were garbage, real real garbage. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. All these cards are good against Walnut. Guys, do you hear what I'm saying here? Two thousand four hundred. A month. It's ridiculous. The only reason I live in this inexpensive city is because my kids live here. Otherwise, forget about it. I'm leaving. I'm probably leaving it. I don't know what to do, man. <laughs> Sharing you guys my midlife crisis. It's a pretty good play here with the Simo. Corrects trades in three. Opens things up. Deals with the black eye. With the uh, Rick and Morty over there. Forget me nuts. All I'm trying to say is thank you guys for your financial support because they definitely need it in order to afford to live in the same city as my children. But yeah, man. Bri, are you a fan of basketball at all? A little bit. I watch like, I don't really like the regular season because the games are not impactful enough, which usually results in, uh, you know, it's just not as exciting. But come playoff time. Playoff basketball is fun. I'll, I'll watch the playoffs, and I really like the Denver, Denver Nuggets. I was rooting for, for them throughout the entire playoffs last year, and uh, really happy that they got it. So. That's awesome. This Forget-Me-Nuts is pretty annoying. We need a leap. Choose yellow, though. It's book is time, and it didn't it's go book through. No, Book is shush. Oh, I whoops! Instead of I muted myself instead of muting you. I turned off the wrong one. Bookus, we don't have to hear this, okay? Are we done? Is it over? It's finally over. What am I gonna that was such a good play by him. What am I gonna do here, man?
No! <sighs> well, that's nah, never what I do. I moved this here. Just ran out of time. I didn't realize I was on such a short timer there. The good news is he's running out of steam. Maybe we can... This this forget-me-nuts is killing us, though. It's literally killing us. I don't know what to do about this, man. <sighs> Go after it with this. There's the hammer. Okay, I'm happy I made this play. So annoying. We're low. He's low. Uh, let's see if we can pull this off. We gotta start top decking some good, good ones here, man. Guess with the going viral, we should be able to pull this off. Just got his strike here at top. Bro! Pretty obvious they had the going viral there. Right? <sighs> We're taking all this heat though. Four? It's gonna be a close one, guys. Close one indeed. hate that this goes up to 3-5 now. I guess we rock wall this one. It's a lot of damage going to face here. Maybe killing this four. It depends if he can answer this four four though. I don't know. Well, the con man goes face for one damage anyway. So if this goes face here, if he can't answer the four four, which so far not, then it's four three and then one between turns. In fact, we just got the one there. It's sad doing that to con man. As long as he doesn't have a removal card, we should be okay here. He's just looking for some miracle. Looks like dang. Okay, but he's taking more damage now. I don't know about that play from him. This rock wall makes three damage go face here, which is really good. So we'll have four on six. Oh yeah, this <laughs> Kanga still lives. Oops, I didn't even realize. Of course it still lives. So now the Con Man does one, the Galactic Exploding does one. The Galactic Exploding actually makes this four damage go face. Might as well play this, right? It's just about him not having an answer right now. His whole thing gets messed up by his Galacta exploding. Do that in lane two! Are you throwing? If he would have done that in lane two, he probably could have won this game, bro. But now lane two goes face for lethal. He's actually throwing. Legit. Legit. <laughs> well, we won. <laughs> Frickin' easy. I can't believe we pulled that one off. Okay? That was not a good play. He literally had the spike weeks back there. Oh, that was so cringe, man. He just didn't do the maths. Gotta get the, 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 the simple maths going on. Alright, this looks good. The Max Super. Nice. Yeah, that'll go on the fail count for real.
I think I like this better than play reactively. There's no need to conquer. We got 211 people here. You guys is you guys is back. Well, that's a really strong play. That'll still have three health left. Makes the good trade. Goes from a lost trade to a winning trade and leaves a 3-3 on the board. Ridiculous. Is this the turn we abracadaver? I mean, do we do go Kanga and Z Mech Super? I have a feeling Z Mech Super is not gonna be the best here. Damn. This is Graves Buster. We should be okay with like going viral plus lightning bolt next turn though. Can you guys hear the buzzing? No, you guys can't hear it. So going viral super? Is there a better play? I mean, we could just double gravestone. Probably double gravestone is correct. Alright, let's go. But going viral next turn on a bigger board. Is Leafy deck with green shadow good? Leafy in general is very hard. So we ding this one, and then we move it straight to Ohio, and that makes that Triceratops die, so that's awesome. And then the other one, we as long as it doesn't grow it, we can Z-Max Super it next turn, with, along with going viral, so it'll be, it says three, it'll be two damage here, so it's really, we're in really good shape now. And in the meantime, this Grave Robber is carrying. I mean, look how big this thing is. <laughs> look how small it is. It's okay. I'm pretty sure the going viral brings this up to two. Yeah, we can just, we can clear his field by hitting lane one now. So that's awesome. The, uh, the con man actually goes face with the frenzy damage. So that's very cool. Wins the, winning the trade because of the little splash. So this will do two. The three should hit. So opponent should be down to one health here right now. Ridiculous. You draw a card, you lose, bro. We have all of our fossil heads. All of them. Which is okay. In this stage of the game, having some late game cards on a full board. We're just trying to put this guy away. I, I'm... This is... I, I'm... I'm, uh, you know... I, I thought this was a worthy idea... I'm surprised it's going this way <laughs> just through his guaranteed lethal. He could have at least blocked and gotten his super, but no. Now it's guaranteed. That was him. He says, I'm going out on my own terps, okay? It's amazing this is going um, this well, you know? Did I just play against the same guy twice? Really? I didn't realize though. So. Count it, I don't care. So, two sumos is a lot. If we would get like a one drop, it's, what's better into like Solar Flare? Like, Con Man's very good. What would we actually want to ping though? I think the sumo's gonna be better just to like. Get the twin sunflower or whatever. Uh, I think playing into Scorch in this deck. If it, we see the Scorch come out right now, that's fine. So there's no need to play around that. I'd rather play around Colonel Pult. He spams more Spore on one and misses. <laughs> Are we looking for the buff shroom? I, I hope just for this guy's sake that he's he has buff shroom, and he's not like me where more Spore just slips out of my <laughs> slips out of my hand. 
Um, yeah, I guess we'll go Sumo. Kaga's okay here, but... Like, do I kill one of these? I don't think so. I'll take all the free superpowers. No problem. We can kill these these button shrooms pretty easily down the stretch here. Should I just kill them in case Pine Clone happens? I don't really know yet why this guy. I think he has like punishing me. No. So I'll I'll kill this. Maybe I should have let these live and ping my block meter a little more. I guess we don't have to play around Pine Clone anymore, so that's good. And we got three damage going face, not bad. Like to buff. Anyway, it's just buff buff fruit cake. So annoying. Really no point in fruit kicking it, right? I could bring this beyond berry blast range though. So. Probably a good rock ball. We need a leap. Hi chat, what did I miss? Thank you, Nakurotic. You missed a Z Mech deck doing pretty good. Pretty well. It doesn't feel like this deck is like dominating, but we're four and oh somehow. No, bro! Oh my gosh, Chomper. Chomper out of nowhere. There's no point in buffing this. You can't really kill it easily, and maybe you'll have another Chomper for next turn. We need like a uh, binary or something here. It's pretty good. Frog. It's really nice. We just free kick this one. It really absorbs this. We want we want this to die. No, we still have not blocked somehow. We want both these to hit base, right? I'm singing the song uh, Seven Years. I was seven years old. Uh, binary stars could go a long way here. I feel like I'm just getting trolled right now. Sage Sage. Giving us cards, so that's nice. Let's go a long way. Did I get like binary? Um, this card he actually has to destroy right now. Because Bungie Bungie to face will kill this. So let's make him have to destroy this now. Bungie Bungie to face and then Z-Max Super win. If he, if he doesn't outright clobber this. It also protects it from chompers and all those stuff, so. Even if he cornucopia is here, we usually win. Depends what he gets. Feels like this deck probably... Oh no, don't do that. We'd have to spend all of this. Not really a point. There's binary star, so we should be good to go. Uh, the cleanest way by Bungie does four to face, so the cleanest way is just Z-Mix Super in one. Uh, again, as long as he doesn't get direct damage to face, like a pod fighter here, we're fine. There we go. 
La 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 la. Guaranteed lethal. And it's uh, the fact this was a gravestone against Solar Flare. I'm not going to BM and Bungie to face. I actually want to win here. But it's a clean six damage. <laughs> it's enough BM to fuel clear the cornucopia. Come on, guys. So we won that one too. I feel like the deck needs a little more power. I'm just going to take a look under the hood after 5-0 and oh and say, <laughs> how can we make this deck better? What does the deck need? It needs more power. It needs more finishers. Something. You know, we were originally running, like, the original Plant Plan version of this deck ran Battle Cruiser. I really wanted going viral. I think you know, going viral, it can't really take out. It's hard to really take out anything, though. Take out a bungee? Healthy treat? They don't need the healthy treats as much as, like, maybe another finisher, though. Healthy treats have been popping off, though. They're really so good. I think of all the times healthy treat kept the minion alive. You know, like, just thinking that Grave Robber and stuff like that. It just feels like it needs a little more late game. Yeah, it's Hop Deck Binary, super clutch. Are the bungees important? They're good, though. I, I feel... <laughs> Again, it's one of these things. Sometimes you have a deck that's performing well, and you end up with bad matchups, and it loses. And it seems like, wow, this deck is amazing. It's consistent. This deck feels like it's flimsy because that was, I think, that Solar Flare matchup, even though, again, we did barely, barely pull it off. I think it exposed a weakness of this deck, and that is decks with a lot of removal. Like, they remove your one, they remove your two. Like, where do you go? If you don't get your binary stars, you're done. Like, where do you go from there if you haven't established a board the first couple of turns? And they're able to, you know, if they have answers... I just want one more card that's going to carry us to the promised land, you know? Like, maybe instead of... Like, this is a four-cost card that's not really going to help us win. I, we haven't really gotten an opportunity to see this, but maybe, like, we can use turn four as the turn where we sort of play... I mean, unless there's another four, that would be good. What what if we say turn four is the combo turn with the going viral in all this early game when we actually like run like like four battle cruisers in this deck for real? Cause here's a card that can actually this and then plus a going viral. Like there's this is a card that can that can win us games. I'm not gonna add dance floor into a, a Zemac gravestone deck. The original deck did have newspaper in it, but um, I'm, I'm reluctant to add newspaper. That would be instead of Kanga. All right, well, let's let's try this. Let's try this version here. Can add King. I'm not feeling King. I, I hope these battle cruisers are not gonna brick too hard. A little bit is fine. Okay. Really gonna have to pass turn two to hit the twin sunflower against Rose. Very popular. Rose card. Flamenco. Flamenco in this deck with just binary stars and conga. <laughs> I don't know, man. We have to pass here. If we play this, they play Twin Sunflower and we lose. That's a weird decision. We need a leap! We need a leap! W. I kind of want to play a little more off curve. Let's do it like this. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, Tunes, for three months. Let's see if we can pull this off with double grabber. He's mogging our one drop grabber. Turn back into a grabber. I need that in my life. Oh my god. Freaking easy. <laughs> uh, just writing down the highlight. You know how it is. Uh, so that'll make it six and <laughs> Yeah, that is definitely going in the fail cone. Okay, uh, here we go. Let's let's get the curve. Let's get the curve going. Do I pass on turn one? It's just too many things. I'd rather go like this on turn two, I think, right? So this is dying to click me. Uh, oh, we're so we're 6-0. It's a clean yes already. We got two more games. I'm glad we went 8. I, I was worried that maybe 8 wouldn't be enough for this deck, but no. We've, I feel like we've definitely had our fill so far. Oh, he's drawing. So I'll just grow this. No! Oh my gosh. Forget-me-nuts is so annoying, man. Uh, I run it in every Guardian deck. I'm not complaining, but, uh, you know, it's that's just tough. That's so annoying. That's really freaking annoying. I don't know. I I mean, all right. Let's let's commit this because it still keeps a five-two on the board, and there's a lot of ways we can make this go phase here. Should I go for the going viral with five damage? What if it just gets Shamrock? You know. It can always fruit cake. I don't really know what to do here. I don't like these congas. Okay, let's just pass. Yeah, these congas aren't really doing much here. Uh, answer is yes. Uh, pass. Basically committing to Z Max Super here, but it's okay. Uh, 
Yeah, this is from Frodo. Wee. And he got the so annoying. No, 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 no. Wow, he just doesn't care, does he? Let's just he's running repeat moss, right? Okay, if he's running repeat moss, we'll kill repeat moss. And then it also makes that it'll definitely hit one of these and this will die for the, for the dab. It's fine. I mean we could have just played Kaga in front of repeat moss, so maybe I shouldn't care that much. Well, I should not have cared. Bad. There's binary. Binary bungee. The Congas will do double damage. He <laughs> got his second mushroom grotto. Come on, man. Don't go lane three. Don't go lane two. It's a little awkward. We probably should bungee here. We can bungee face and make the six damage go face. His, his superpowers are rumble. This will usually proc the block. The cleanest win is because he blocks and rumbles. The cleanest win is probably this to face. Worst case scenario, he'll be down to one and Kanga kills him next turn. Because right now, again, what are his superpowers? It's rumble, time to shine, just doesn't do anything to stop the six damage coming in here. He doesn't have great defensive superpowers. Then he has Root Wall. Yeah, so that, that's that's clean. If this had rolled a 1, this would proc the block. We would still have 12 health. He's not doing much in Congo goes face next turn. So, it wasn't as juicy as killing this 3-4, but... Because of block rumble, you just can't really give the Abracadabra the, the chance of hitting face there at all that turn. Yeah, <laughs> Grass Knuckles getting two Mushroom Grottos. That's probably the first time I've ever seen that, you know? He got back to back. It wasn't really good for him either. This isn't the same Solar Flare we just played, right? Oh, well, no, we just played against Grass Knuckles. What am I saying? Alright. This is a fine hand against Solar Flare. I love. Starting with the combat. Way better than the 2 2. Against the 2 damage solar flare superpowers. That's fine. It, it makes hardly a dent in the con man's health, and he's still taking the damage. So we like that. Like it, like that. I guess I'll play this on Heights to play around the uh, Scorch. It's not so bad. We're in good good position here. Probably just commit the healthy treat on whichever whichever one he decides not to bury blast in his high voltage current deck. Or that. Yeah, we're working on that A to No. We'll see if we can pull it off. We'll definitely add the health and the extra attack here. And yeah, really just want to see any gravestone. Going viral this turn isn't bad, but any gravestone would be nice. Good binary. I see what you did there. Wow, he's just trying to play defense and it doesn't work. He's just trying to stall a little bit. That's a very weird play. And that all completely... <laughs> I don't know what that guy was doing, but... He must have been hella bricked. He, he played just Sunny Shroom. He had four sun that turn. Alright, guys. That is going to do it for Grave Mech. Who knew this deck would be the 100% stream, you know? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, man. Yeah, it came together. It came together and it shows that you can really play tempo. Uh, for all I know, Healthy Treat carried this deck, you know? So good, man. The Sumos were fine. The Congas were below average, I would say. <clears throat> Abracadaver popped off one game. Binary Stars, you know, kind of carried. And uh, it all came together. I didn't get to see the Barrel Boy, the Battle Cruiser in action, unfortunately. But uh, I don't know if that was a good addition or not. But anyway, guys, 
I will see you in the next one. Of course, that's going on YouTube. Thanks for joining me. Peace. This is Fry.